Friends, after many requests, we are finally playing Lily's Well. The developer of this game actually emailed me and said, Hey, Big Gaming, could you check out my game? And when I read the synopsis and saw the screenshots, I was immediately interested. This is the kind of game that I made this channel for. Unique horror experiences that are absolute passion projects. I think this game is going to create a special experience that we can share together. And you guys know that's always my focus when I'm deciding what horror games to play on this channel. Now I do want to stress this video is not sponsored in any way. The developer just thought I would be interested and mentioned that their game is free on Steam. I know this game has a ton of different endings and we're going to try to explore as many as we can. So whether you're watching this video to unwind, listening to it in the background while you're working, or perhaps checking it out in the dark to chase that feeling of fear, let's keep something in mind. This time we have together is important. Well, it's important to me, and I really hope it's important to you too. Right now, it's just me, you, and this game that I think is going to be another adventure. So I ask that you go on this adventure with me and forget about the other things for a while. And I promise I'll do the same. With that being said, after much patience on your end, here is Lily's Well. And here we go. It is a cold rainy day in the Tabachi household. You are Lily. Lily is a young innocent girl nine years of age. You live in a modest home with your papa. On this cold and rainy day, you are knitting on the couch while Papa packs his things. Tonight, he needs to go to work in order to teach a night class. As Lily is a good child, Papa trusts you to stay safe while he is gone. Ooh, is that a hot dog and mac and cheese? Oh, that actually... That actually sounds kind of banger right now. Before he leaves, Papa makes hot dogs and the box mac and cheese. Box mac and cheese goes hard. I, I absolutely love it. He helps you pour the cheese sauce on your hot dog in order to make it taste better. It's so hard to mess up mac and cheese, in my opinion. You enjoy your meal together, ignorant of future events. Oh, a little foreshadowing. Papa puts you to bed with the sound of rain lulling you to sleep. Okay. Somewhat... You wake into the sound of a voice. It, Lily. The voice seems to come from outside. You look out your bedside window. Nobody. There's nobody among the rain and darkness. Was it a dream? You open your window a crack to listen closer. Please. It hurts. Help. The well. Someone is in the well. The rope normally hanging from it has vanished. You are a good girl, so you get out of bed to go help. Read instructions? Sure. Interesting. Here we are. Oh, so you really can just click around here. That opens up the... Menu. Stuff. Ropes, keys, files. Okay. I think I'll just click around, honestly. Your knitting basket gives you comfort despite the stormy weather. Uh, we'll take... With how big the yarn ball is, it probably could be unraveled into a long rope. Take the ball of yarn as a rope. Sure. You took the ball of yarn. So, man, anything can be used as a rope, huh? Okay. Yeah. So this is an interesting style of game. Can I take the lamp? Lamp may be a good light source while you're outside. Problem is that it needs to be plugged in if you want to be more than dead weight. Okay. True. Let's go check the bear. This is Sniffle Bear, or Sniffles for short. Let's take him. Uh, while he would be a brave and faithful companion on this quest, the rain isn't good for him. Okay, that's fair. Bathroom, anything in the trash can? It's empty, okay. Shower still wet from your earlier bath. Can I take the curtain? Nah. You have no concept of what an ER is, so you'd be out of luck. Okay. Behold the toilet. 
Uh, even after that time, you made potions in it, causing laundry soap bubbles to completely fill the bathroom. It also never clogged, even when you put one end of a yarn ball down and watched the entire ball disappear in the water. Truly the most sacred appliance to be created. Big facts. Bedroom. Probably my parents' bedroom, right? <sighs> There's a safe with a keypad on it. It seems to have space for six numbers. Try to open the safe? No, I don't know the code. Draw some of Papa's clothes. Let me take. Belts might be a good robe substitute. Sure. Draw has some of Papa's clothes. Let me take. Oh, never mind. Don't work like that. Okay. Anything here? Can I use the comforter? Take the sheets off, but it seems attached to the mattress somehow. Maybe there never was actual sheets in the bare mattress. Okay. Hope not. Let's go back to the closet. Because I want to check my... Nope. Okay. So I guess we can leave. Telephone. Call a phone number. Sure. First three digits. I don't know any. You can hear it start to call, but hang up before anyone picks up. Okay. Yeah, I don't know any phone numbers, though. The Trusted Family Television. A collection of VHS tapes can be found in the cabinets of the TV. Some notable ones include... Rosa J's Guide to Summon and Clip Clop and Friends Collection Number One. Oh, I see. What is this? It's a book of local plant life in your area. Read it, sure. Which section would you like to read? Trees. The majority of the trees found in Bethany's Mirror are the same as those in the surrounding areas. Bethany's Mirror, is that the is that the area we're in? That's an odd name for an area, I think. Plenty of oak, maple, and pine to go around. The most common of the area's more unusual trees is the Nymph Mimic. It will appear as a normal birch tree, but with a female humanoid figure jutting out of the trunk. Despite appearances, this isn't an actual nymph, but a soulless tree. These trees seem to form from the souls of women who get lost in the woods or have their corpses dumped in the woods after being killed. Their souls leave an imprint of sorts on a tree in Bethany's mirror, causing it to swell with the body's shape. The sap from these protrusions can be harvested and made to nip soup. Nah. I'm gonna stop reading. I don't feel like I need to read anymore. Couch sits. Pillow on the couch with a quote from an author. What's this here? Can't take the couch. You can see if something's underneath it. Yes. In your search, you find your knitting needles. Yeah, we'll take them. Took the knitting needles. Okay. So, let's go... Explore around the house just a bit more. What does that do? Kitchen sink. Look. Uncheesed macaroni noodles are in the drain. This is a keyboard. They're too short to reach. Okay, fair. We'll look inside the pantry. The padlock keeps the door shut. The fridge towers above you. Let's see what we got. Drawings cover the fridge. That's it. Okay. So now we're outside. The art style of this game is very, very interesting. Let me just try going down the well and see what happens. This is the source of the voice. All that can be heard now is the echoes of raindrops. If you wish to save the person trapped in the well, you'll need to construct a rope. You currently hold two pieces of possible rope. Tie them together and begin descent. Sure. Do I break? Probably. Your rope is creaking. Something is vi- Oh, that actually got me. Is that it? Do we die? It took that long to hit the floor? As you fell, you were lucky to land headfirst, killing you instantly. Your body lays in a contorted and unnatural state as it waits for the maggots to settle in. 
Oh, good. Dead end. Alternate end one. Bad craftsmanship. Okay. Well. That's to be expected. Some dead ends have different conclusions depending on Lily's actions, despite the ending remaining the same. Skip the intro? Yes. Okay, so we're just going to grab this. Yes. Gonna grab Dad's stuff again. Cool. Okay, let's leave. And head on out. Let's go this way. I'm not really sure. I guess, can we use this as a rope? Your tire swing hangs empty and alone. As useful as an actual rope would be, it's tied tightly with a bowline knot. Your small hands have no hope of untying it. Oh, let me go back and get my knitting equipment here. It's under here, I think. Take. Yes. Okay, let's grab the needles. Let me go into my inventory and see what the... Can I actually, like, see what these do? Needles used for making scarves, sweaters, and other yarn stuff. Use. You can probably knit the yarn you have into a stronger rope. Knit the ball of yarn into a knitted rope? Yes. You now have a knitted rope. Good. So... That should be... I can still use the knitting needles? Knitted rope, 2 out of 15. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Let's go this way. I don't think I can use the... Knitting... There's a pretty big rock on the ground. It's a rock. They're one of the common things to find outdoors. Well, let me take. It's probably going to be heavy. Take the rock. Sure. The way of the rock slows your movement. This trash can is ready for pickup. You can put any unwanted rope parts in here. No, I don't need to throw any away yet. Check the mailbox. Sure. No mail today. So the rock slows down my movement. What do I do with it exactly? It's an unimpressive one. The rock is very heavy. Would you like to put it back? Yes. Okay, so we know that if we need a rock for any reason, now's not time to be playing in the road. If we need the rock for any reason, we can go get it. Uh... I guess those are just puddles. Okay, that's fine. Here's the well. There's another rock. Let me go look at this one just in case. Pretty big rock. What if... This could be an instance where the rocks are just there to be there. And if you decide to pick one up, you just... Chain serves as a handrail for the bridge. Can I take it? Too bad it's welded into the support poles. Okay, so no. Sprouts are peeking out of the soil. Isn't right to take something that isn't done growing. Check status. You currently have two. Oh, okay. There's a memorial for someone in a language you don't understand. The memorial says. Okay, so we can't read it. Yeah. Strangely shaped hole. It's narrow and seems to go down a little over five inches. Is there something that needs to be in the memorial? Interesting. Okay. A large pair of garden shears are buried in the ground. Let me take them. Yeah, let's take them. Took the shears. Um, I bet I can cut that rope now. This is a very interesting game. I didn't expect it to be as open-ended as it was. Um, so can I, let's see, we can use our shears. The rope holds strong, but the shears should cut them. Yes, we'll take the tire swing rope. Awesome. 
So it's not necessarily a puzzle game, but it's an environmental exploration game and figuring out how to use items. I guess it is a little bit of a puzzle game. So for those of you that don't know about Lily's Well, and this is your first time watching someone play the game, what do you think of this so far? I love the unique art style. Obviously, it, it really jumps out at you and pulls you into the experience. But it's so interesting. I like games that have a design element, kind of like Breath of the Wild, where there's an end goal that's always in sight. You can always see Hyrule Castle. You can go there whenever you want. And Hyrule Castle in this game is the well. The well is always available. You can see the well basically anytime you want to go over to it, and you can head down whenever you want. Obviously, your mileage may vary, but it's an interesting game design principle. The shed door is locked in order to prevent forest animals from making their way inside. Okay. Um, so, I don't have any... Can I take the tire here? No. Oh, here's another area. There's a vine growing along. Can I use the shears again? Vine is rooted deeply in the ground. It's probably better to cut it down. Yeah, so I can use the shears again. Stuff. Use. Vine might be able to serve as a possible rope. Cut and take the red berry vine for climbing. Yes. Carefully cut down the vine, squishing many berries in the process. Okay, what about these? There's a vine growing along the tree. Can I cut down all of these vines? Okay, cut and take the yellow flowering vine for climbing. Yes. You took the yellow flowering vine. Oh, I bet not all of these are actually useful. Let's cut all of them down, and if we need to throw one away, we can. Possible rope, the blue thorned vine for climbing. I mean, probably not. We probably only need the yellow one. Uh, you know, we'll do yes. We'll take it. We're gonna take the rock, see if there's anything under it. There is not, so I'm gonna put it down. Okay. So let's go ahead and climb down and just see what happens because I'm kind of interested in another ending. All that can be heard now is the echoes of raindrops if you wish to solve the person, uh, see the person trapped. Okay. Six piece of rope. Yes. Let's, let's just go see what happens. I'm curious. Uh-oh. Same ending. Your rope is creaking. So, yeah, it's definitely not going to let us down. I'm wondering if it's the same ending, though. Dead end, alternate end one, bad craftsmanship. Again, bad craftsmanship. What was the wrong... I mean, maybe it was the thorns. In the year 2005, 4,881 pedestrians were killed by traffic crashes in the United States. What? Um, okay. I... Interesting that random vac was placed there. I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the same area we were at. Okay, so this time we're gonna try to take these flowers here. I think I I read the vine thing, and I think the vines each have these very strange effects. So we're gonna see if any of that actually like happens. There isn't anything to snip here. Okay, I'm gonna check something out regarding that. We're gonna go back here. I want to see if anything happens if we actually like use some of these vines. Let's go here first. Stuff. Stuff. Shears. Yes. Red berry vine. So now let's try going to the ropes. 
and actually using... Oh, I can't use it? Hmm. Okay. I don't think these we can use, but this blue one... Apparently, according to the guide in uh, Lily's house, you can actually use it as a building material because it's so strong. So this is the one we need to use as a rope. Let's use the shears. Yes. Blue thorn divine. Red berry vine, blue thorn divine. So I'm not sure what determines, like, its place? You can't use any of this stuff. Okay, that's fine. So the red one we can throw out. We don't, we don't need that red one. Let's go grab this here, too. Tire swing. Yes, thank you. This is a very, very strange game. But it's really endearing, and I think part of the fun about this game is the experimentation with, um, you know, seeing what kind of different items you can collect and whether or not it's going to work when we actually try to go down the well. Discard rope materials. Yes, look through your rope materials. You have tire swing rope. No. Blue thorn vine. No. Red berry vine. Yeah, yes. We don't want to discard the net rope. No. And nothing in the mailbox, huh? And we can't leave this area. So let's think about that for a second. We're gonna go ahead and... Use the shears. How do I... I need a way to... I need a way to get the, the blue thorns off of that vine, though. That's the problem. Okay. So what else can I do here? There's a memorial for someone. Can I not... I guess there's not a way to open it? Nothing to take. Nothing to snip. Shed door is locked in order to prevent forest animals from making their way inside. Yeah, that makes sense. So what do we do here? Is there another way in the house to leave? Let's go back in the house. Maybe we're missing something. Actually, I want to check here. This is the turtle pond. Look, it's too dark to see below the surface of the water, but you can see a couple turtle shells around the pond. Pop always told you not to touch the turtles because they can bite off your fingers and toes. Okay. Kind of morbid. Yeah, there's there's no other way... There's no other place I can go out here. I'm pretty sure I can't have her travel into the woods. Let's go back inside. And see what we can possibly find. There's a key here. This is probably the shed key. Note from one of Papa's friends. You can't really read it from down here. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, I think I did that wrong. All right, let's see if that'll reset. Okay. Yes, and then we're going, nope. No, we're not gonna climb up to the stool yet. Sure, can I... Oh, I'll... Alright, that works. We're gonna take the shed key. Yes. And what does this say? It's a letter addressed to Papa. Should I read it? Dear Tony, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to you from Mother's home. Has she required extra help regarding the pig farm? 
She is personally doing well and has asked about you and Lily. Mother is especially curious about your progress on your research project. When Mother heard that you were pursuing her specialty, she was delighted to see how you would do. Please write to her and possibly send samples. I only expect to stay on the farm for the next year or so before returning to Maine. With your permission, I'd like to visit your home on the way. Thank you for your time, Vic. I don't really think that helps me with anything, to be honest. But I could be wrong. It's a stove! He also made you watch a VHS tape about how many fires start. You remember one part Papa skipped over when the puppets were singing about a number to call. Papa said that that number is dangerous. What? Trust the family television. Look, a collection of VHS tapes can be found... Hold on, let me- let me take one of those VHS tapes. I can't. Damn. A number to call? Okay, well, let's go to the shed. At least we have the next item we need to progress. Okay, there's a spare extension cord on the floor, we're gonna just take that right away. Yes. It's a bag of mulch, used for gardening. Can I take it? Too smelly, okay, fair enough. A pair of bolt cutters are hanging on the wall. We're gonna take those. Pretty heavy tool, take the bolt cutters? Yes, took the bolt cutters. Hmm, I wonder if I need anything up there. These three green flasks. An old and broken weed whacker is left to rust in the corner. We're gonna take that. It's really nothing more than dead weight. Papa dropped in the river. Okay. Well, the bolt cutters we know to use on here. Can I not? Can I not use the bolt cutters? The change line on the bridge can make for a good rope. Yes, okay. I was in the wrong spot. Nothing is protecting the side of the stream. Look, now that there's no chain here, it's more likely for someone to fall into the stream. The other side never had a chain, though, so safety was never this bridge's strong suit. Can I fall in the river? Let's see what my ropes are currently. Tire swing rope, blue thorned vine, Papa's belts. Nope. Anything down here? Extension cord, knitted rope, chain. These all seem pretty strong, except the blue thorned vine I don't think I can use by itself. You took all the chain, creating a new safety hazard. Oh. Oh! Where- What? Where did I go? There's a cave entrance down the stream. The rain is causing the stream to move fast, making it too dangerous to investigate. Take. There's nothing to take from the water. Okay, where was I? Here? What are you trying to take the poles? The water? You can't, so don't even try. So how do I get across there? I think it has to do something with the rocks. Maybe if I put enough rocks in, I'll be able to make my way across or something like that? Let me try that. Let's go ahead and take the rock. Yes, took the rock. The way the rock slows your movement. Okay. Let's see what this does. If you put the rock in the water, it might help make a path across. Place the rock. Yes. Bingo. So now we need another one. I was wondering why they were showing us that rock there. That makes a lot of sense. Over here, let's grab this one. Are they gonna be heavy? Take the rock, yes. 
Boom. What just happened? Can I take the lamp? What? What's going on? I have no idea what that was. Okay, let's go ahead and just keep it moving here. I I know that something's up here. I know that something's up. Because we haven't gotten any of the other endings yet, and I've been playing for, like, a hot minute here. Put the rock in the water, might help make a path. Yes. I think I need one more. Let's go ahead and go back. So I know where that last rock is. Ooh. Okay. Right there. Yes. I imagine we do need to use all of them. And it slows down your movement, but you're not really that slow. You're still, I mean, all things considered, pretty fast. Okay, um, looks like whatever that was is not coming back, which is good. What is going on in that... I hear whispering in my left ear. I have no idea what that is. Or if it's something I need to be concerned with, or run from, or what... What's going on? Okay, let's go ahead and put the last one. Stuff. Rock. Yes. Yes. Stream flows quickly. Can I go... Can I go in now? Yes, I can! Okay! A net protects a group of small underwater plants. The net is held down by spikes. Pulling at it causes small cuts to form in your damp palms. Okay, can I use the shears? Let's... Or the bolt cutters? I feel like this would still work, right? That seems to be pretty sturdy. Cut it and use it as a rope. Sure. Take it. Take the net. Okay. And what is this? What? Wait, what is this? Is this a carpet? There's a knife with a strange blade hanging on the wall. The knife has a wavy blade and, and an oily liquid on it. Uh, sure, let's take. This doesn't belong to you. Take the knife. Sure, you took the knife. A knife won't help you here. What's this? There's a worn birthday card. Read it. The front of the card has a picture of a black rabbit holding a flower. It reads, Happy one year of being here. On the inside, it's a picture of even more black rabbits holding flowers. It reads, Happy first birthday, Lily. July 20th, 1985. You've grown so much in just a year. Never forget that you're surrounded by people who love you. With love, Auntie Mifiyu, or Mifiyu. Why was Lily kept in a cave? After she was born. I don't... Why was she kept in a cave? I bet this knife goes into this memorial. The knife might fit in the memorial's hole. Put it in, yes. You slowly stab the knife into the memorial. It's a perfect fit, but you lost the knife. And... The stone case is, filling with the black, is filled with a black liquid and long, tangled hair. Take, you put your hands in the hair and pull at it. It seems to be attached to something. 
Okay, it's attached to something, so can I use the shears to cut it? You might be able to cut this hair for a rope. Cut it and take the oily hair for a rope. Yes. As soon as you cut off some hair, the rest gets quickly sucked into the liquid below. You take the oily hair. Nothing but the foul-smelling liquid remains. Instead, the raindrops sit on top of the liquid as if it were a solid. So, was someone buried in this memorial? Sprouts are peeking out of the soil. I feel like there's something we need to do here with this. All right, let's look at our stuff. Let's look at our ropes. We have the shed key. We have a couple files. Keys, ropes. The blue thorned vine, tire swing rope. We have over eight of them? It's strong. Sticky, oily liquid. I feel like I would slip on that, wouldn't I? Okay. I'm so confused here. I'm not gonna go down the well just yet. And there's nothing to do here. This vine isn't okay to take, because it will break, I'm pretty sure. But it's saying I need 15... ...ropes. Let's check the mail now. No mail today. Okay. Anything that I missed... Can I use the lamp's cord? No. And I can't get the bear. It's your bed. You remember a movie that Papa brought back home one weekend where prisoners used sheets to escape from prison? Take the sheets? Oh yeah, let's do that. Is my bed made of stone? Or is- oh no, it's just gray, okay. I was like, what is going on with Lily's house? Can't use the sheets. So we have 9 out of 15. Root vegetables, let's look at that. Plenty of root vegetables that can be found. This is due to the area's creation, the impact on the outside that the outside has on it. The dwarf mandragora can be found by paved roads near the area's border. Despite its name, it is not in the mandragora's genus, rather the Daucus genus. It appears in wide clusters of white flowers that grow on the side of the road. Picking them will reveal a purple root vegetable in the shape of a human body. These vegetables range from three to five inches tall. They can cause mild stomach discomfort if eaten raw. Boiling them kills the toxin. So, are there flowers I need to pick somewhere? And this padlock keeps the door shut. So there's a passcode that I don't know of either. How many digits is the passcode real quick? Let me check that. There's a safe with a keypad. It seems to have space for six numbers. I have a theory. Let me check something real quick. Um, let me see if I can cut this. No. I'm gonna try something. I have a theory that the the birthday we saw might be the code to our dad's
thing. There's a worn birthday card. Read it. Yes. Picture of Black Rabbit holding a flower reads, Happy one year of being here. Happy one year of being here. July 20th, 1985. So it'd be 07, 20, 84, 85. July 20th, 1985. Okay. Let's try that real quick. I have a theory that that's our passcode. After playing enough of these types of games, I'm just, you know, my intuition is telling me. Check out that birthday. So if it's one year of being here, then it's likely 84. So let's keep that in mind while we're doing this puzzle, so... Yes. Oh, 07... 20... 84... Oh, that seems to be the right password! Nice! Okay! I just had that feeling! Let's go! That's awesome. There's a long whip inside the safe. Papa won't be happy with this. Take the bull whip as a rope. What? What is Lily's living situation like? I don't... Can I not look at this? There's a receipt from a place called Sack Supply. Read it. Sure. Okay. Five. Addo body. Merm cardia. Okay, there's a small note written at the bottom of the paper. It reads, No new orders for a bit. Too much local attention. Watch the news. What orders? I don't understand what's happening. You aren't even sure if you've seen Papa sleep in it. Yeah, something something is not right in this home. Obviously, we, we think that Lily's been in some sort of a cave. Can I use the bolt cutters on the pantry? Because I would think bolt cutters could break a padlock, potentially? But we'll see. You really aren't allowed in the pantry. Break the lock anyway. Let's go, baby. Of course. Papa can probably get a new one. Yeah, who cares? Okay. It's a large sealed bag of beef jerky. Take it. This may be a good treat. While outside, take a piece of jerky. Sure. You took the jerky. A variety of canned foods are stacked. Can I take them? Papa never taught you how to use a can opener, so you don't take the cans. Is this it here? Just the beef jerky. That's it. There are cans containing tomatoes, beans, and ham. You aren't sure how they could have fit an entire ham into a can. You know what? That's a legitimate question. So... The only thing I can think to do with the jerky is give it to the turtles here in the pond. You aren't hungry right now. Too dark to see below the surface, but you can see a couple turtle shells. Can I not give the jerky to them? Okay. Then maybe later, right? Let's go see if there's flowers. I don't see any flowers near the street. Check, no mail today. Anything in the forest here? No, anything? No. What? If a bad rope material is picked up, it will be automatically used when sending the well. I know that. 
Oh. Okay. Um, don't play in the street. Wow. So I got all 10 of the rope items again, and we are going to try this uh, and see if we can get down the well. I'm not sure if you have to get all 15, because I think you can grab stuff like the single ply toilet paper. Like, I looked at that. That was an examinable item. And I have a feeling that obviously that's not a good rope. So let's see what happens if we go down the well. Let's see. Oh, okay, we can get farther. Okay. This is huge. Wait a minute. Can I go in here? Why is there a... Mirror. I made it... Wait, what? Can I go in here? I'm so confused. What is the- what is the deal with this well? The rope has come to an end. You did it. You made it to the bottom. Wait. What? Oh dear. Nobody is here. Your only company is bones, rotting meat, and maggots. Oh dear again. Someone cut the rope. It's up to you now to decide what to do? These are lilies down here. A metal door sits between you and the only exit to the well. There's a dim light shining through the bars in the door. Um, beef jerky? You aren't hungry, okay. It was a shot in the dark. Knitting needles. Shears. And the bolt cutters. Probably be able to cut through the door if you cut the bars. Cut them? Oh wow, that's a strong bolt cutter. You break through the bars and unlock the door from the other side? An office building? Wait a minute. The door is locked. This is the door to the stairs. There's an out of order sign with the door additionally being locked. That is a fire hazard. There's an elevator. The call button doesn't seem to work with some... Okay, so I need some kind of a card. A variety of photos and notes litter the cork board on the wall. The notes are connected to pictures via thread and push pins. They seem to detail the names, ages, and blood types of the people in the photos. An underground office building. I mean, this, this thing was deep. You guys saw how many layers we went through. And all of those corpses at the bottom of the well were lilies. Were us. Additionally, there seems to be extra notes detailing capture risk level for each person. You do not recognize any of the photos, but something about their faces makes your body shake. What's this? Can I not look at the this at all? Okay. Can I take anything from here? No, I can't. Okay. Okay. Well, let's keep looking around. There's still some areas we haven't been to yet. Uh, this is getting crazy, guys. I I'm just getting excited. This is why I love sharing this time. Like, we can both have, especially if, if you're not familiar with the game, we can both have this moment of like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. There's a man sleeping on the couch. The man has a light dusting of cheese powder on his fingers and beard. His name reads Freddy Fungus. Freddy Fungus. What are in these cages here? That's what I want to know. There might be something in his pockets, but you don't want to risk waking him up. Can I use the beef jerky here?
You aren't hungry? Ugh. What about this? Oh, this is a... There's a key in the board locker. In the barred locker. Bars are too thick. Let me guess. The bolt cutters. Best item ever in a horror game. Oh, they're too thick for the bolt cutters. Okay. Can I use anything else? Knitting needles? Are thin enough to get past the bars. Yes. Office key. Perfect. Um, I imagine this is the office. Yes. There's an inflatable plastic couch here. Much as you want it, it probably wouldn't fit through the doorway. Can I pop it with my needles? Despite your knitting experience, there's nothing to knit here. There's an inflatable plastic chair. Okay. You want a waterbed? Okay. The shelf is lined with binders and folders. You see Children of Stardust Studies. Children of Stardust Studies. Azoth formation documentation and notable student projects among the files. Can I take anything? You would take some if the idea of reading something that looked like boring, that looked that boring ever invaded your skull. There's an ID card. We're going to definitely take that. Yes, took the ID card. Okay. There's an out of order sign with the door additionally being locked. But now we can use the ID card. Is it a key? Yes. Why is it saying out of a hundred keys? Wait, can I not use it here? Oh, this is where I can use it on the elevator. That's right. We're on B6. Press the red button. Oh god, I have no idea. We'll go to the next floor. Press the blue button. Okay, basement level 5 now. And where are we now? There's a picture of a yellow circle on the wall. A little plaque is below the picture. It reads, gold represents absolute perfection, the ultimate goal of all al alchemists. Alchemists? While some alchemists desire to literally create gold, many have their own personal gold that they pursue. Can I take it? Picture's welded to the wall. Okay, so that's probably a no. Metal plaque next to the door reads archives. It's locked. That is a... Memorial room, you hear people talking behind the door. Best not to get caught. Okay, let's go up another floor. Children of the Stardust files. Why were we in a cave as a one-year-old? Picture of a red arrow. A little plaque is below the picture. It reads, Brimstone sulfur represents heat, dryness, and the human soul. I feel like I need to be writing these down. So, that is brimstone and sulfur. Certain religions, it's stated that hell smells of sulfur. Alchemic research has dictated that this may be due to the amount of probable souls residing in the hell's fires. Okay, great uh, deduction there. Scrapped project repository. Scrapped project repository. See, I can only imagine what that is. The metal plaque next to the door reads recycle room. It's locked. All the rooms are locked, apparently. And this I can't even look at. Metal plaque next to the door reads incinerator. It's locked. Okay, let me go back to this one. Just because I want to see that symbol. I think it's a yellow circle. Right. Gold represents. Okay, yeah, it's just gold. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's go to this floor. Pink button. <clears throat> 
I feel like we're unearthing something really disturbing here. Okay, is this a key card I can use? Can I not pick that up? The floor is covered in wet hair. Can I use my shears here? No more hair, so she doesn't want to use the shears. Deeper down the hall is a thick liquid. It's the same as in the garden. And it's the same color of hair at... Uh, I have the same hair. Why can't I pick whatever this is up? I'm like... Oh, a large window peers out. It's the inside of the well. Okay. Let's go to the green floor. We're going to see what every floor has, for better or for worse, guys. And I am... getting more and more suspicious. Okay. There's a picture of a green triangle on the wall. So... I'm just writing this down. Green. It reads, Earth is touch, movement, and physicality. Of the body. A soul must connect to these things in a body in order to claim it on its own. What's this? <clears throat> Picture of a red triangle. Fire is love. Rage, passion, and hatred all in one form. These are all the key factors of the human soul, not just the masculine ones, okay. Blue triangle. A little plaque. Water is blood, mercury, and the origin of life. Blood, mercury, life. Okay. In order for a body to operate, life and soul it must contain water. Of course, that's true. Air is both heat and wet, blood and soul. Souls move like air when not contained within a body. Bright sign reads in use. What about over here? No, bright sign reads in use. The metal plaque, nymph project body test room. It's locked. Nymph project. I want to say that they're capturing kids, but it's just... The bottom of the well was just me. There's a picture of a green arrow on the wall. A little plaque is below. It reads, Phosphorus. Alchemy. Why is there so much alchemy? Because of its features, it can be used as a base for a new soul. Dark room, it's locked. All these rooms are locked. The metal plaque next to the door reads barrel storage is locked. Surgical lab, a light shines from the red bulb above the door signifying a surgery is in progress. A surgery? All right, what's on the top floor? The first floor. Blue cloaked figure. Yeah, even Freddy's having trouble with it. I heard they're going to start passing it off onto the work study students. I sure hope not. Nicole's been doing cleaning stuff for the Mercurial building. If they try to make her try to clean up that Azoth stuff, I'm going to student resources myself. Just let her do her own thing, man. Uh-oh, is that... Hey, uh... Whoa, whoa, uh, is your name Lily? Papa, Papa said not to talk to strangers, but there's bones and do you think she saw the pit man? Uh, yeah, I would think so. Derek, shut up. Your dad, is he Professor Tabachi? Do you know Papa? He, yeah, he should be in the Hugh, uh, the lab. Follow me, kid. I'll take you to him. Dude, what about our project? This will be like five minutes. Relax. What is going on here? Blue. What? Pa? Pa? What is that? 
What? Lily? Oh, Lily, what happened to you? You're all wet. Were you out in the rain? There, there was a voice in the... You heard the well voice again? No, I didn't find anyone when I got to the bottom. I found an elevator and... This is the first time I think you've made it down here. What? Take a look at this, Lily. Take. A. Look. Good girl. Papa? What is... Your next iteration, Lily? Iter... It took years, but I finally managed to recreate your body. I'm sorry I couldn't get your hair color right, but that's just the price of working with Azoth. The only difference that needs fixed is your soul. You can't help it being underdeveloped. You always promise to be a good girl, but you always end up breaking my rules one way or another. The first iteration I made fell down the well. It saw me throw a delivery down there and thought it was someone who needed help. The stupid thing didn't even figure out the body was already dead. Didn't even listen to Papa's rule of not going outside alone at night. It tried doing what you did. Made a little rope. The rope snapped, but the iteration didn't die at first. As it screamed for help, I realized something. If you act out as a bad girl, you can die and have your soul put into another iteration with a clean slate. Your brain doesn't remember doing anything bad, but your soul will eventually remember that only bad things come from being a bad girl. One day, this will make you the most perfect Lily without any of the actual brain trauma, with, without any of the actual trauma in your brain. My assistants and I recorded the first one's screams and decided to begin the experiment. I, of course, had to wonder, how many times will Lily die before she realizes that nothing good comes from disobeying Papa? We call it Generation Iteration Development. Each new generation of Lily becomes smarter and smarter. We have enough meat so we can keep developing more bodies. That's funny because each new attempt as a player, you learn more things, which is Lily becoming smarter. And they're literally using that as a narrative device. Beautiful. I, I thought someone, I thought someone needed help. Here you are again. You think a voice coming from outside is more important than Papa? Oh my god, he's got a gun. Papa? Let's see if this is what it takes for you to put your fingers in your ears and just wait for Papa to come home. Oh... Still, I gotta say, Papa's proud of you for getting all the way down here. Tell you what, you can be my little apprentice again when you finally learn, okay? Dead end. Wow. Good God. Is that one of the digits of the phone number? Wait a minute. Wait, what? Tip, many items can serve more than one purpose. If stuck, use whatever you have at your disposal. Wow, um, that is heavy, and I think, I guess we gotta get down there again. Before we do that, though, I want to test something out. Do you guys remember when we were falling down the well, and each time we would go a screen lower, like, the background would change? I'm kind... What is that? A bush with ten flowers is growing here. I haven't seen this. Looking at it causes sharp pain to go through your head. Let me take it. You don't really want to take around the plant for some reason. Okay. Let me check. Okay, hold on. First, let me go around and do a couple stuff. So, I want to see what happens if we fall at different lengths. I'm wondering if that's not some of the different... Um... Up or ending options because that felt like we were kind of near the end there I'm sure we have to get the phone number I'm not sure how to get the phone number maybe like there's some num like there's some numbers in that area that I missed but I have a feeling like there are different endings in the well 
that I may not be familiar with. So let me go ahead and drop down from zero. Oh, it says going in without a rope is unwise. So let's grab one. Just see what happens at one. Okay, so here's one rope. The rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless. No voices can be heard, just the sound of your own breathing. What does that sound? It sounds like... The Scissor Man from Clock Tower? Oh. Okay. I think we're falling. Yes. God. Okay. Let's see what happens if we have two. Oh, the, wait a minute. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens if we have two pieces of rope, and they gotta be good rope, because if it's a bad one, you just get the ending that we got before. Okay, here's two. Right here, we're gonna find out, uh... What happens if we go down with two pieces of rope? Interesting, okay. This is so exciting now. I can't wait to see what kind of different endings we get here. Rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless. No voices can be heard, just the sound of your own breathing and the rain falling from above. It mixes with your sweat, making your hands uncomfortable. You decide to give up and climb back up. The task is much more difficult than lowering yourself down. The pain in your hands and the moisture in the area create a terrible combination. And down we go. You lose your grip and fall. Similar, but a bit different. Dead end. Got a Butterfingers achievement. Do we get a phone number? Yes, we do. This is awesome. Let's see what happens at three. One thing I'm also noticing here is there seems to be new plant that pops up every time we have uh, a new ending that we discover. So let's go ahead and see what happens at number three. Let's go. Falling down. I imagine a few of these are just going to be falling. Which is to be expected. And here we go. The lantern. The rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless. Ah. The nearby lamp turned on by itself. Such a thing could be helpful right now, actually. You reach over to take the light off its hook. A terrible decision, really. Yeah, why would we do that? We know we're stuck. Why do we need to see? I don't know. And I think we're going to fall for quite some time now. But we're going to get another phone number. Ooh. Unfortunate. We're adding to the pile of lilies at the bottom. Let's see what our phone number is here. I'm writing them all down. Three is the last digit. This is awesome. I can't wait to see what the real ending is. Let's see four. Okay, and here we have another flower. We can't do anything with those, but let's see. We got four now. Here we go. This is so cool. All right, down one more. I wonder what's gonna be in this tunnel. The rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless, but there seems to be another tunnel you can reach. Perhaps this is where the voice was coming from. Oh, I can actually walk around here. Oh, I wonder if this is like a secret entrance. You can see the lake outside. You're suspended high in the air looking down upon it. The weather is causing waves to crash violently against the rocky shores below.
Your body is washed out of the drainage pipes into the lake. Before hitting the water, your face makes direct contact with the rocks below. Oh. Oh, God. Is this like... Oh, jeez. Not even Papa would recognize you now. Um, I gotta say, I'm impressed with this game's ability to create really disgusting imagery with such low fidelity visuals. It's a gorgeous game, though. Zero. 802 is the area code. Cool. Uh, let's see, five. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try five out here. This should be five at least. Yeah, five pieces of rope, and I know that these are all the good ones. If you have even one piece of rope that is bad, um, you're gonna get the ending that we got at the start. Here we go. That was cool. I thought it was like the secret, and then it totally subverted my expectations. Okay, here we go. The rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless, but... A darkened window juts out from the side of the well's wall. It's slightly open. You swing closer to take a peek, but you overshoot it and tumble into the pitch black room. Oh, so we didn't just fall. It seems like you landed on something soft. You try to feel around to get a sense of your surroundings. So we're in that room. We went through the window. Here we go. Lily? Papa? Where? I thought... Shh. It's okay, Lily, you just had a bad dream. So this window right here. No, you went to work and there was a voice. A voice? What kind of voice? Uh, it, it came from the well. Oh, the well? I hope you didn't go near it. The voice sounded like she was in trouble. I wanted to save her. Now, Lily, even in a dream, you need to remember what Papa tells you. But you weren't there. Lily... Good girls listen to Papa even when he is at home, especially when you hear voices from outside. That's how bad little girls get kidnapped or eaten. So this line of dialogue is even more sick when you realize what we know. In order to create the perfect child, her dad is basically going through a line of, of trial and error where he has endless recreations of his daughter that misbehave, die, and eventually you get a perfect one with none of the trauma from the, the, the previous versions. It's sick. Will you remember that, Lily? Yes, Papa. Will you? Will you remember it down to your soul? Yes, Papa. Good girl. Good night, Lily. Good night, Papa. Under Papa's watch, you quietly go to sleep. I wonder then if this is one of the rooms in that facility. This means they've recreated her bedroom in that facility, probably as a testing room. His words ring through your head as you lose consciousness. His words ring through your head as you lose consciousness. Oh, it's repeating. Oh. Okay. Okay. That one's kind of dark, but I kind of saw that coming because she found she technically found the facility and that can't be allowed. So. OK. OK, so here we go with number six. We're getting close because we know that 10 brings us down to the very bottom. Um, so nine is going to be the last one that we actually need to get. There's the wet or uh, the sewage drain. There's the window leading into our other room. And then this room. I remember seeing this room and I almost wanted to like get off the rope and see what I could find. The rope has come to an end, but there seems to be a large room here. What a strange room. Now that looks like me. You look closer to the unknown pile in the corner. Is that me? Is this me? Oh. Oh God. It's a corpse covered in maggots. Do you know what maggots are, Lily? You've learned about them before. They're baby flies that eat dead things. Oh, now what? You no longer hear the sound of rain, but
but it is now pitch black. Someone must have covered the well. Well now, even though you can't see, you may want to get comfortable with the maggots. They may be your only company for a while. She's probably just going to starve here, I imagine. Yeah, dead end. She starves. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. These are getting darker and darker the deeper we go. We got a two. We got a two. Okay, let's see number seven. All right, with seven ropes, we're going to descend past the creepy room where we basically just starve to death. And a lot of the imagery in this game is surprisingly shocking. Like, I would even say more so than something like Faith, to be honest. Let's keep going. Now, I read about the vines that have purple berries or flowers on them. I read that in the book that they have in their house. And I'm not sure if these are the ones that cause me to hallucinate or not. But, oh, there's a vine growing along the well walls, but you don't see how deep it goes. So we get on. You manage to jump onto the vine, getting a good grip on it. And what happens here? It seems to have a good grip on you, too. Are these... basically like a Venus flytrap? The purple leaves of the vines stick to you, wrapping close to the plant. Oh, right, okay. These were from the book. It begins to suck out the blood from your body. You remember reading about this in that plant book. How unfortunate of you to discover the overcast vamp vine in here, of all places. Wait. Did you read that book? This lily did not read that book, but a different lily did. Or did another lily? You're now too weak to scream. Too weak to keep your eyes open. Too weak to continue. Dead end. Interesting. What number? What's our number? Give it to us. Three. All right, number eight's next. All right, down we go with eight. So like the menu suggests, there are 15 total pieces, but five of them are, um, they'll just break and send you down. They're not good. Like, I think the toilet paper is one of them. There's the yarn that we hadn't knitted into a rope yet, stuff like that. So let's keep going down past the vines and a grate we can jump in. The rope has come to an end. Hope of discovery, however, is not lost. A vent presents itself nearby with its cover partially removed. All right, guys, this might be our chance here. Another way into the facility, perhaps? There's a fast-moving fan in the way. Okay. This is, like, fairly close. You fell through the vent, putting too much weight on one of the covers. Oh my god. The fall has broken your leg. The pain is immense. The sound of your fall has caused the residents of the room to awaken. Are these like failed clones of Lily or something like that? Oh, yeah, they probably ripped me to pieces. Jeez. That was my favorite one so far, though. Oh, that was so dark. That reminds me of the room in Ao Oni with all the different disturbing-looking Oni types. Got a six. Then one final number. Number nine will give us the phone number we're looking for. Okay, heading down with nine pieces of rope. This is the final death ending that we need. Um... And then we're going to get the final phone number because one of the things they said at the beginning of the game was that, you know, Papa never wants me to use the phone, never wants me to call this number. Um, so I have no idea what to expect for the true ending. Let's go ahead and see. This is the end. The rope has come to an end, but you can see the bottom of the well. You can't see it very well, but you can still see it. Maybe you should go back up and find something to get a little further. You're so close. Our cord was cut, I believe, right? 
Someone cut your rope. What did we... Did we just break our ankle? You try to stand, but your legs are broken. Okay, our legs are broken. Standing out from the red covering your legs is the white of a bone breaching your skin. Oh, God. Ah! Ah! Help me! Someone help! Please, my name is Lily! That was the cry that we hear at the beginning of the game was a lily that made it to the ninth level and fell and broke her legs. Your cries for help echo throughout the well. Please, it hurts. Papa, please. I'm sorry I was bad. I want to go home. But no, she will die there, unfortunately. This is such a dark game. But man, oh man, can I not wait to get that phone number. Who is he so afraid that we might call? And he's, he's, he's wanting us to get smarter and improve with every new iteration of Lily, right? Well, we are. We're, in fact, we're passing the phone numbers down to each other. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start another game up right now. Someone cut your ropes, get the intro. Yeah. Okay. Let's just go dial that number, guys. Here we go. First three digits are 802. 802. Second three digits are 426. And the last four digits are 2313. The call went through. Hello? Who is this? Hello? My... My name is Lily. I'm home alone and I'm scared. Wait, what? Did you say Lily? How did you get this number? It's... Um... It's my new cell phone number, I think. But I don't have a cell phone and I don't know why I think I do. I feel like I remember a lot of things that didn't happen to me, but did happen to me, and... Shh, it's okay, Lily. Everything is going to be okay. Who are we calling? You live in a house with a well by it, right? It's right outside your window? Yeah? Oh, thank God he didn't move. Okay, Lily. I need you to wait in the living room for me and put a certain VHS tape in the TV. Can you do that for me? What movie? Clip Clop and Friends Collection Part 1. It's your favorite, right? That was the one that your dad turns off at a certain point, I think. Yeah. Good. It's going to take me a bit to get home, so you can keep putting in more movies if Clip Clop ends, okay? Okay. Just don't fall asleep and keep the door unlocked. Everything is going to be okay. Can I keep talking to you? I shouldn't talk and drive... Ah, sure thing. What things are you remembering, Lily? Falling down the well, my bones hurting. Sometimes it goes dark when I fall, but sometimes I wake up. I... I know I woke up to hearing someone yelling from the well, but why do I also remember yelling? What? Is he there? Papa put a pillow on my face until I couldn't breathe. And one time he took out a gun and... Oh my god. I wonder if she's speaking to a lily that got away and maybe grew up a bit? I'm, I'm not sure because... Yeah, I'm not sure who... Or maybe she's talking to Vic, the guy in the note. He's not going to hurt you anymore. I'm going to make sure of that. When I heard you pick up, I think I remembered a lot more stuff. Damn. I'm still remembering a lot, and I don't want to be alone. You won't be soon. She's crying right now. What's your name? Um, I don't know the easy way to answer that. Name is Lily, I bet. Did I really die? Unless I'm talking to a ghost, I think you're alive. Papa, in one of the memories, Papa said something about me learning something. General Lasha International Debelaman? What? Oh, Generation Iteration Development. <laughs> yeah. Are you Papa's real Lily? 
Oh god, this dude is a sick, sick man. Yeah. God. How many times did he put you through this? Lily version 18. And that's- that's our real number right there. I'm sorry, you don't have to count or anything like that. 18. I did this 18 times. I'm sorry for making you drive. No, I think your soul remembered my number because you wanted help. Even if you weren't thinking about it, you called me for a reason, right? What's going to happen? Well, I don't have a solid plan, but getting you out of there is the main goal. I left a note for my boyfriend's mom explaining the situation. She's pretty good at reading my scribbles, so it should be fine. Oh, there's a pretty good 24-7 diner we can check out after I pick you up. A diner? Yeah, they have killer chocolate chip pancakes. They also put whipped cream on top of their chocolate milk, plus rainbow sprinkles. Now she's cheering up. Yes, but I mean, just... He said that they don't have the trauma, but that's not... He underestimated... Um, the cognitive effects of this. Quite severely, it seems. You... You can also sleep in the car if you want. You're probably tired. Can we get the pancakes? Yeah! You spend the hours talking with a stranger you know so well. I love that line! Oh my god! You spend the hours talking with a stranger you know so well. Oh, that's profound! I love that line. I don't know, it made me a little emotional, actually. You feel like you've never felt this level of comfort in your life, and it's possible that might be true. Okay, can you open the door, Lily? Mm-hmm. You slowly open the door. Is this a safe... Yeah, it's just... Me grown up now. Oh, we changed our hair color a bit. Hey there, kiddo! Sorry to keep you waiting. Your hair is a lot of colors. Oh, look at the sprite. <laughs> it is, I dyed it myself. Okay, my friend Burgerman helped, but I did a lot of the work too. Burgerman? He's one of my buddies, everyone's gonna be really psyched to see you. They don't know I came here yet, but it'll probably be fine. What's going to happen to Papa? He's going to get in trouble for what he did to you. I think his work is helping him. Of course they are. But, uh, like she's saying, like, the people that work at his location. They're, like, sticking up for him. But, I should probably ask you this. Are you okay with leaving? I can help you grab your stuff. And Lily thinks. I want pancakes. All right, kiddo, let's pack up and grab those cakes. The two of you pack up various things from the house using the sheets as bundles. The woman you were meant to replicate managed to take all of the VHS tapes off the shelf in one grab. The tapes all fell out of her arms when she tried to pack them up, though. Soon you were left in the back seat of her car. Just gotta finish up one thing, okay? The longer you were left in the car, the larger the pit of anxiety in your stomach grew. What is she finishing up? Oh, I can walk? Can I check the mail? What happened? What is she doing? Something smells bad. What are you pouring? Hey, I thought I told you to wait in the van. It smells like the stove. Look. You're not going to like seeing this. Go back to the van. Is this Papa's punishment? Can I help? Oh, wow. Can I help? Sure, kiddo. You deserve it as much as me. You pour the kerosene all over the base of the house. Both, both of you drench the garden, giving its residents one last drink. Finally, you send some down for Papa to deal with. Once we throw the lighter, there's no going back. No going back. 
I soaked the Azoth air in the garden, or the Azoth hair in the garden with the tanks from the shed. If the alchemists still have it growing around the campus, it should light up like a fireball. Yeah, it's really oily. They mentioned that multiple times. Bye, Papa. Rest in piss, Papa. <laughs> Despite the rain, the house burst into violent flames. There is no more house to wake up in. The heat is intense, even from a distance, and yet... She's sad. It's okay to still love him. I still don't know why he hurt me. No matter what, he said I was a bad girl. She pulls you in close. Adults don't hurt kids. Lily, you didn't deserve anything that he did to you. Just because someone's your papa, it doesn't mean that they're right. You feel tears that don't belong to you. Be oh, jeez. Ugh. I... The stuff... The stuff in this game where, where it says something like, like this, you feel the tears that don't belong to you begin to fall. Or the one line that was talking about... Um, talking to the stranger that you know so well, when it references the fact that you weren't the only one and you were just the lucky one that... that got past the... the... dozens of instances of pain and death... Um, to get to this point, it, it, it took... It took a lot of bodies to get to this point. You feel that you feel tears that don't belong to you begin to fall. The hug tightens on both ends. Lily needed this hug for a long time. Oh my god, that's such a good line. That's a beautiful ending. Beautiful ending to this game. We broke the cycle. Good riddance to that guy. Okay, we need to talk about this game. Um, thank you so much for the recommendation. Thank you to the developer for reaching out to me. Um, yeah, I got a little emotional at some of the parts. It's, it's beautiful, and... I... I think... Oh, look at this! An illustrated picture! the end. This is great. So, let me talk about what I think happened here. So, I think the reason that Lily's dad did this is kind of hinted at with the character design of the original Lily. I have a feeling that Lily's father didn't like it when she grew up into an adult changed her appearance kind of, like she's kind of the character design of like a traditional rebel sort of character and maybe the father didn't like that because she didn't end up growing up to be his picture of his perfect daughter and the perfect woman that she would become later in life and this built up in a you know a large amount of resentment and he was like well I'll just do it over again but this time I won't I won't let there be a chance that she grows up in a way I don't want her to. That's just kind of what I got from her character design. And maybe I'm reading too much into that, but it's just a theory I have. I, I, I thought her character design was fantastic. Um, the, the original Lily's character design. But, yeah, that's the impression I got from it. And maybe that's the... The reason she had a design like that was... Like, that was very purposeful by the game designer. To kind of clue you in that maybe... You know... The father wasn't proud of her or whatever and wanted wanted his perfect example of a daughter. So he resorted to unspeakably inhumane and disgusting methods in order to achieve his goal. And I gotta say, um, that ending was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Very poetic. And this is another game that's reminded me why I love making these videos so much because we got to share this moment this experience um, experiencing that ending together 
And when I get finished playing games like this, I feel a deeper connection with you guys. This is clearly a game that you all hold dear to your hearts as well, because you recommended it to me. And the fact that you recommended it to me and wanted to see me play it means that you must care about me too in some way. Um, so I feel there's this, we have a very beautiful connection of both valuing each other. Um, like I, I value your recommendations and you guys must value something about this experience. And, and that's, that's a beautiful thing to me. So yeah, Lily's Well is a really special game and I am, uh, honored to have been able to play it for you guys. As always, guys, I love you very much. Please be safe. And I'll see you in the next one.